In this tutorial, I'll give you an overview of the audio editor in Pinnacle Studio and briefly review the audio editing tools available to you. I'll also point out some of the audio features introduced in Pinnacle Studio 25. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. First of all, you're going to need to have an audio clip or a video clip with audio on one of the AV tracks on your timeline in order to access the audio editor. Then select the track that contains the audio or video clip that you want to make audio adjustments to. So first I want to give you a brief overview of the audio tools available on the timeline. You can click on the Audio Mixer button here. This button opens the Enhanced Audio Control Area with Volume Adjustment Tools. Below the Timeline Track Headers is a Master Playback Level Indicator that will tell you your volume levels. You can adjust your master volume by dragging on the yellow slider here or set your own decibel level. You can also turn on keyframing and edit levels on the tracks using audio keyframing. This will allow you to right-click on the track and manually add or delete keyframes so you can have audio higher and lower in different positions on the clip. Next, we can click on the Panner Tool button where we can adjust our surround sound settings by selecting any of the presets or customizing our own settings by adjusting the sliders manually. Introduced in Pinnacle Studio 25, the 5.1 surround sound controls now have support for angle, spread, and center with keyframe options to manipulate multi-speaker panning over time. Now I'm going to click off the audio mixer button and click on the voiceover tool button. Here you can record a voiceover using your microphone by pressing the record button. And then, once you finish recording, your voiceover will be automatically added to the voiceover track on the timeline. Next, you can click on the Soundstage button to access a collection of score fitter music that you can use in your projects. And we can also click on the Audio Ducking button, which is a technique that allows a narrator's voice to be heard more clearly above other audio, like background music in the project. Now I'm going to show you how to access the audio part of the editor panel. Again, make sure you select the audio or video clip you want to make edits to. Then click on Editor, and make sure to click on the Music Notes icon to enter the audio editing mode if you are editing audio in a video clip. The first option we have is Channel Mixer. The Channel Mixer allows you to make level adjustments and redirect audio signals from their original channel assignments to new ones. You can click on the slider under the level meters to set the playback level of the clip. Under the stereo drop-down list, you can select any desired option for redirecting audio signals. We also have the normalize button here, which is really helpful to optimize the audio volume of the clip. Next, let's click on corrections. Here we can make all sorts of different corrections to improve our audio quality. First, we have equalize. An equalizer is basically a tool that lets you adjust the volume of the individual frequencies within an audio source. You can choose from a number of select presets from the drop-down list, or choose to manually adjust the dials to set gain, frequency, and high cut and low cut settings. Next we have adjustments. The only parameter available under the adjustment tool is the LFE subwoofer, which lets you activate or deactivate the subwoofer channel for a particular clip. We have Compressor. Adding a compressor can help smooth out your sound by scaling back the loud sections. Then Expander. Expanders increase the difference in loudness between quieter and louder sections of audio, making quiet sounds quieter and loud sounds louder. We have Deesser. Deessing helps you reduce sibilance or harsh high-frequency sounds. Next we have Noise Reduction. Using the noise reduction filter can help you reduce or eliminate background noise to give you cleaner and clearer audio. Introduced in Pinnacle Studio 25, the noise reduction section now allows you to create a noise profile. This allows you to make a selection of audio as a sample of the background noise you want to eliminate throughout the entire clip. Also introduced in Pinnacle Studio 25 is a new section for pitch scaling. Pitch scaling lets you change the pitch of audio without affecting the speed and therefore not impacting the duration of the clip. We can also apply audio effects by clicking on the effects section. 
and here we have a number of audio effects we can apply to our audio or video file. Channel Tool, Chorus, de Equalizer, Grungeleizer, Leveler, Reverb, Stereo Echo, and Stereo Spread. To apply the effect, simply click an effect on the thumbnail bar, and it will automatically apply to your selected clip. Another way to add an audio effect to your project is to go to the Library panel and go to Effects, Audio Effects. Then drag the effect from the library onto your audio or video clip. You can make custom edits to any of the default settings by right-clicking on your clip on the timeline and going to Effect, Edit, and selecting the applied effect. From here, make any adjustments you wish or select a different preset. Finally, we have Time Remapping. Time remapping allows you to adjust the speed for your video clips. You can apply a slow motion or fast motion effect to the entire clip. Or you can use keyframes to speed up some scenes in a clip while slowing down other scenes. These are all of the different ways you can improve or experiment with your audio and video clips in Pinnacle Studio. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Pinnacle Studio. Thank <laughs> you.